Hello, my name is David Summons, here with Grace Root Design in Dallas, Texas, and today we're going to talk about SRT files, and more specifically, how to create an SRT file in Notepad. Now, SRT files are really important. They are the actual files that contain the subtitles for digital video content. You want to start by locating the Notepad program on your computer. You can do this by going to the Start menu locating your accessories folder and you should be able to open notepad there now we're going to start the phasing sequence so you want to start with the number one which signifies that this is the very first subtitle and then you want to hit enter and on the next line you're going to enter your timing sequence and it's you're going to so you're going to we're going to time it to show the first subtitle at the two minute mark which would be zero zero column zero two column zero zero and then we're going to add our duration sequence and the cutoff sequence and all of these should be on the second line Once you've completed that, you're going to hit enter. And on your third line, this is actually where you would type your subtitle. And so we're going to add one more subtitle. I'm going to start with the number sequence. We've already did number one and this subtitle is showing at the two minute mark between the two minute and the three minute mark of the video. So we're going to start the second subtitle. Our start time will actually be at the three minute and fifteen second, thirteen second, I'm sorry. And we're going to add our duration sequence. And cut off sequence at the four minute mark. Then we're going to hit enter. And so now we have subtitles. The next phase of creating an SRT file is going to be to save. And we're going to name it just something and you want to make sure that you have the correct encoding. If you're doing it in English, you want to keep the encoding at ANSI. And if you're doing it in an alternative language, you're probably going to use Unicode or UTF. So we're going to save that file. We can close Notepad, and it's here right here on our desktop. Now, the last, the very last phase to creating the file is that you need to rename the extension of the file from txt to .srt hit save and now you have created your very first SRT file again my name is David Summons with Graceful Designs here in Dallas Texas and today we talked about how to create an SRT file in Notepad